Tonight, big plans. Carleton County has high hopes for a new jail. Why it could cost taxpayers for the next 20 years. And sounding off, an Iron Range group is expressing frustration after a fatal officer-involved shooting over the weekend. Plus, under investigation, Joe Biden's son announces the feds are looking into his taxes as the president-elect continues filling out his cabinet. From CBS 3 Duluth, this is the CBS 3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Anthony Matt. Kristen is off tonight. Thanks for joining us. After plans to build a new jail came to a halt with the pandemic, Carleton County is once again trying to make it happen. They say it's urgent because the current facility is falling apart. CBS 3's Kendall Jarbo explains who could be footing the bill and the new program they're hoping to include. Carleton County's jail is 41 years old. It didn't pass the state's latest inspection. Now, Carleton County Coordinator Dennis Jenneru Jr. says they only have until 2023 to build a new one. The facility is just too old and just is really not designed properly. So basically, the indication was we either have to find another county to house them in or we have to build a new facility. The county board is asking the Minnesota legislature to let them collect a half percent sales tax. It would fund a new $40 million jail. There would be that benefit to local citizens who live in the county and that there are people that live outside of the county that are contributing to the cost of that jail. Senator Jason Rorick represents Carleton County. He tells us he'll carry the bill in the Senate to get it approved. With the new jail, Carleton County hopes to double their capacity and create a female offender program. Minnesota state laws require men and women have equal rehab programming. Jenna Roo says that's not the case. And there's really no program run in the state of Minnesota that matches what the programs are for women that matches what we have for men. A new jail with the goal of giving everyone a second chance. We give women the same opportunity to be successful when they move back into the communities as we are trying to give men. If the legislature grants the referendum request, voters will have to approve the resolution. Then it will go back to the legislature for a final vote. If the vote does not pass, they still have to build a jail. It will just be paid for out of property tax dollars rather than the sales tax. Switching gears, the pilot whose fighter jet crashed in the UP last night is still missing. Crews continued their search today. The jet took off from Madison as part of a scheduled training. The National Guard is working with the Upper Michigan search crews as well as the U.S. Coast Guard to find that pilot. One Michigander says it's strange to have so much traffic in the area. But you can hear all kinds of air traffic. There is A-10s just circling around. Like it seems like there's just a bunch of them up and around. And it's just odd because this is a very quiet area. There's When you're outside, you hear the birds and the wind blowing and stuff like that. You don't hear jet planes and stuff. The crash happened at 8 p.m. Now, this is a very remote part of the Upper Peninsula, technically in Delta County, which is southeast of Marquette. All right, Dave's here for a quick look at the weather. Dave, not often you could drop the hat and gloves on a December day. No, it is kind of rare, and today was kind of warm. We'll yeah. take a look at our top temps, which pushed into the 40s for just about every town in the area. And right by the lake in Grand Marais, registers there registered 51 degrees. We could be similarly warm again tomorrow, but there will be a little bit of a change in plans coming around. Higher pressure that brought sunshine today is going away, and that's allowing that low from the west to creep in, which is a little bittersweet. Yeah, we need some snow. It is December, but the clouds coming in are blocking what could be some decent northern light viewing. Uh, next couple of nights just might have some chances for that. And speaking of snow chances, tomorrow folks on the Iron Range may get up to an inch, but for the rest of us it may just be a cloudier day with uh, dry conditions continuing. And warm conditions mean upper 30s here in the Twin Ports area could creep into 40, at least away from the head of the lakes. That'll be the last of the really warm days. We'll fall back towards normal as the weekend comes across. And if tomorrow's snow chance for the range comes across, Will any follow in the rear of that low pressure system for the rest of us Friday, Saturday? The chance is pretty low, but we'll take a shot at it coming up in a few more minutes. Looking forward to that. Thanks, Dave. An Iron Range grassroots organization that focuses on cultural awareness is speaking out tonight after learning the 19-year-old man shot and killed by sheriff's deputies in Mountain Iron is of Hispanic descent. CBS 3's John Cardinelli tells us what the group is doing to try and prevent similar shootings from happening in the future. 
On Saturday, a 19-year-old Hispanic male was shot and killed by St. Louis County deputies after they say he was suspected of shoplifting and fled police into a wooded area. Angry. was very angry. Very upset. Nathaniel Coward is a resident of Chisholm and says the news has him asking many questions. I can't understand why two officers would shoot someone um, for anything other, you know, other than their feel threatened of somebody else's life being threatened. And I just don't see how that happened. And Serafia Gravel is asking similar questions. I feel like had this young man done something to warrant that show of force, we would know about it. Earlier this year, shortly after the death of George Floyd, Gravel and Coward helped create a grassroots group called Voices for Ethnic and Multicultural Awareness of Northern Minnesota, also known as VEMA. It's very traumatic for people of color when they see, you know, people like them dying at the hands of our police departments. The group has been working with the Hibbing Police Department and the Kiwatin Police Department trying to find different ways to stop police violence, such as recognizing racial bias. I feel like there's a majority of officers that carry that with them, even if it's subconscious. Um, and so I do think that it would be really important for that to be addressed in training. VEMA hopes they can continue to have conversations with local authorities so everyone in the community feels safe when confronted by law enforcement. I can see progress being made. It's a good way to get people together with the same goal that we all in this together. We did reach out to St. Louis County Sheriff Ross Littman for comment. He did not get back to us by news time. For more information on VEMA, you can head to our website, cbs3duluth.com. Wisconsin's governor is weighing in on a lawsuit filed by Texas's attorney general against key battleground states. The lawsuit names Wisconsin, a state president-elect Joe Biden won. AG Ken Paxton claims the government in the Badger State and three other key states used the pandemic as a way to change election rules, which weakened ballot integrity. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers said the lawsuit is extraordinarily sad. We have a Texas attorney general who's being investigated by the FBI for various improprieties. Uh, numerous newspapers in Texas calling for his resignation. And he t teams up with President Trump to try to take away the votes of the people of Wisconsin. I mean, it's irony, but it's not funny irony. It's extraordinarily sad. The attorneys general of Michigan and Wisconsin described the lawsuit as an unserious effort that is without merit. Meanwhile, the president-elect son, Hunter Biden, revealed he is part of a federal investigation just hours after his father introduced his historic pick for defense secretary. But that nomination is already getting pushback on Capitol Hill. Natalie Brand is in Wilmington, Delaware, with more. Good afternoon. President-elect Joe Biden took the stage with his nominee for defense secretary, retired four-star Army General Lloyd Austin. If confirmed, he would become the first black man to lead the Pentagon. I know this man. I know his respect for our Constitution. I know his respect for our system of government. You can expect that as Secretary of Defense that I will give you the same direct and unvarnished counsel. But General Austin, who retired from active service four years ago, will need a congressional waiver to exempt him from a federal law requiring defense secretaries to be out of uniform for seven years. While congressional Democrats have praised the historic nature of the nomination, some are expressing concern about passing another waiver, having done so for President Trump's former defense secretary, James Mattis. I believe in the importance of civilian control of the military. So does the secretary-designee, Austin. President-elect Biden is counting on his defense secretary to oversee the military and help with distribution of COVID-19 vaccines. Mr. Biden has vowed to give out 100 million doses in his first 100 days in office. Wednesday afternoon, the president-elect's son, Hunter Biden, revealed he's learned federal prosecutors in Delaware are investigating his taxes. The Associated Press reports subpoenas were served Tuesday and says the Justice Department's investigation centers on potential tax fraud crimes and had been going on on at least a year before the president-elect announced his candidacy. In a statement, Hunter Biden said he takes the matter seriously, but is confident he's handled his affairs legally and appropriately. 
Sources tell CBS News President-elect Joe Biden is not under investigation. The Biden transition team also released a statement this evening saying he is deeply proud of his son who has fought through difficult challenges, including the vicious personal attacks of recent months. Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, we are inching closer to a coronavirus vaccine here in the States. However, a warning is coming from across the pond. Details next. Normal is 24. We hit 44 today. Record is 54. Come tomorrow, it'll still be warmer than normal, but the descent back towards normal is coming after tomorrow. And a slight chance for snow up north. Will any of the rest of us get any? We'll take a look at the latest theories coming up after our break. Live, local, CBS 3 News at 10. With Kristen Vockey, Anthony Matt, Kelly Hinson, and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on Live, local, CBS 3. The Kelly Clarkson Show, right here. Weekdays at 3 on CBS 3. Being overweight may lead to high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, a weakened immune system, and can make COVID-19 even more risky. At Healthy Systems USA, get your free weight loss consultation from the comfort of your own home. Call or go to HealthySystemsUSA.com. This Christmas, Fleet Farm has every gift for every list. Gifts are big at Fleet Farm. You'll find the biggest selection and the biggest savings. Know someone who's big into toys? Get up to 50% off our low fleet price on all toys. Or for someone who's big into tools, a 192-piece DeWalt Mechanics tool set is just $119.99. Fleet Farm has gifts for everyone on your list. Christmas shopping just got easier. Fleet Farm. Gifts are big here. Welcome to Toyota Thon. Right. Ready for a great deal? You know it. With savings on Camry, RAV4, Highlander, and more, it really is the most magical time of the year. Can you pretend you didn't see this? But I'm seeing it. Right now, during Toyota Thon, you can get $1,500 customer cash on a spacious new 2021 Highlander Hybrid. Visit Toyota.com to learn more. You never know what you'll find at Toyota Thon. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. Even if you've never gotten a flu shot, 2020 is the year to do so. Memorial Medical Center, your local health departments and area tribes are encouraging you to get a seasonal flu shot to protect yourself and others. A seasonal flu shot is the best defense against flu, especially when COVID-19 is still a risk. This year, Santa's got his naughty, nice, and now his shop local list. With a unique variety of shops and restaurants, there's something for everyone at Victor's. And for business or leisure, Victor's Inn is Duluth's premier lakefront getaway. Victor's. Shop. Eat. Sleep. Being overweight may lead to high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, a weakened immune system, and can make COVID-19 even more risky. At Healthy Systems USA, get your free weight loss consultation from the comfort of your own home. Call or go to HealthySystemsUSA.com. When severe weather hits, tune to CBS 3 for up-to-date coverage morning and night. Now, the CBS 3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Today's weather was beautiful. High pressure brought sunshine during the day, and around sunset time, an approaching low pressure system kicked up enough clouds to kick out some very beautiful sunsets. And uh, this picture comes from up in between Ely and Babbitt on Johnson Lake, courtesy of Andy Johnson. Well, one of the double-edged sword components here of having the clouds come in is, of course, now you can't see those gorgeous uh, northern lights that are supposed to be possible tonight and the next couple of nights. With a low-pressure system in place coming in aboard here, well, we're looking at a snow chance. It's not a very good snow chance, and it affects some towns more than others. We'll give you the scoop here in just a bit. As usual, we'll set the stage by looking at the current conditions quickly coming in from the airport in Duluth. It's 35 degrees. The wind has become calm. 72% is the relative humidity. And the air pressure has been holding steady just a notch on the higher side at 29.95 inches of mercury. But again, with a low side to come to us, I think we're going to see those numbers go down as uh, snow chances go up at least a tiny little bit. First, though, current temperatures down to 22 in Watersmeet, but still 30 in Ironwood. 
Northern Wisconsin numbers range from 28 in Solon Springs to 37 towards uh, Red Cliff and Bayfield and La Pointe, 37 also in Superior, low 30s towards East Central Minnesota, mid 30s for a lot of the North Shore and low 30s for the Iron Ranges and Border Country. Lows tonight expected to stay in the 20s above zero here, again thanks to the cloud cover keeping temperatures up. And here comes the cloud cover pushing into our region and very light snow showers are starting to ease into northwestern Minnesota. That's the advanced elements of a low pressure system coming our way. The first one in a while to come our way. But it's going to be dodging under our area for the most part. So Thursday we get a chance for light snow uh, from the Iron Ranges towards the border. The rest of us may just get a cloudy sky. And then as the low goes down to the south and the east away from our area, the heavier snows stay to the south. And the flurry chance for the rest of us on Friday and Saturday falls to about 20%. And even if it happens, not much is going to stick. Here's the latest estimate on how much could come across in about three days worth of trying. Maybe International Falls will be the big winner around two inches, 30. The rest of us, a trace to perhaps an inch in the snow belt towards the Ashland area. Well, let's now look at tonight's forecast in Minnesota. Clouds will be in thickening up. Low temps will run 27 to 32. Cooler inland, warmer by the lake. In northern Wisconsin, 28 to 30 for that part of the country. Mostly cloudy sky there as well. Then for tomorrow, partly sunny Wisconsin, Michigan, 40 to 45 for the highs. Warmer than normal again. 35 to 40 for Minnesota with that snow possible up north, but mostly cloudy and dry for the rest of the Gopher State. And eyeing up the rest of the seven-day forecast here, we get that tiny little flurry chance maybe sticking around through Saturday, Tony. And the temperatures, well, the warm spell of today eh, might try to stick around Thursday. Then it goes down back towards normal for the rest of the week. From Sunday through next Wednesday, it dries up again. But at least those temperatures won't melt off what little snow we have. Thanks, Dave. With every passing day, we are getting closer to having a vaccine for the coronavirus. Now there's a new warning coming from Britain, which has already started putting Pfizer's shots in people's arms. CBS's Kelly Rainey spoke to a Michigander taking part in an ongoing vaccine trial for a different company. Britain medical regulators warning people with a history of serious allergic reactions to hold off on getting Pfizer's vaccine as researchers look into whether two reactions are linked to the vaccine. Allergic reactions to any component of the vaccine are seen from time to time. The FDA advisory panel is scheduled to meet tomorrow and it is possible the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine will be approved for emergency use in the U.S. as early as then. Pfizer is making its COVID-19 vaccine right here in West Michigan. The state's medical executive says it's still unclear how many doses Michigan will get. Pfizer is one of two companies waiting for FDA approval. The United States is already expecting a COVID-19 vaccine shortage. You know, we, need, we need vaccines to succeed from several different companies, including ours, in order to get a handle on this pandemic right now. Johnson & Johnson is in its phase three trial of its COVID-19 vaccine ensemble. East Kentwood High School Orchestra teacher Eric Hudson is part of it and already got his shot. I had to sign up for it just because, I, I mean, selfishly, I just, I want to get back to some semblance of normal. Whether it was a vaccine or placebo, Hudson won't know for two years. The day after, I just felt really sore and like I had like, like flu aches and I was like oh this is not pleasant but I took some Tylenol and everything was fine had no issues after that. Vice President of Medical Affairs Dr. Rick Nettles says it's important for their ensemble trial to reflect the diversity of the United States. But also importantly uh, the, the populations that are most severely impacted with coronavirus and in the U.S. unfortunately that are the elderly and African-American and Hispanic communities Enrollment is still underway at 100 sites in the United States for the ensemble trial. Meanwhile, flu vaccine vaccinations are up in Wisconsin. Now the state is reaching out to people who don't normally get the shot. Health officials hope the new education campaign will encourage minorities to get their flu shot. The state says it's more important than ever that people get vaccinated. Hospitals are already overloaded with COVID patients. The state says flu vaccinations are up 3% from last year and only 17 people have tested positive for influenza so far this season. Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, with the holidays just a couple of weeks away, many folks are already in the giving spirit. What one Dairy Queen experienced coming up next. CBS 3 Live Cams are brought to you by Kohler Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. You're not just getting a car, you're getting Kohler. 
Your smile is a gift that deserves the perfect fit. At Aspen Dental, find the comfort and joy of natural-looking dentures crafted just for you. Feel the difference of a state-of-the-art smile made in our on-site labs, made for your budget, and made in as little as a day. Now, for a limited time, get dentures for as low as $29 per month per arch with 60 months financing and give yourself the gift of endless smiles. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL seven days a week or book today at aspendental.com. This holiday, for the person who means everything to you, give the gift that lasts forever. Forevermark. A diamond is forever. Available at Security Jewelers. Complying with national guidelines is made easy with the CETA's commercial touchless forehead thermometer. The Instant Read LCD digital display yields an accurate body temperature reading from 2 to 4 inches within half a second. From schools, offices, shops, and all other public places, keep yourself safe and compliant with a hands-free thermometer that's easy to install and easier to use. Visit www.seatusonline.com. That is C-E-T-U-S online.com. This is a special announcement from Prime Appliance. Black November pricing will continue the entire month of December. Prime Appliance knows it's been a rough year. To make it a little bit better, our gift to you is Black November pricing all through the entire month of December. If you need appliances, now is the time. All washers and dryers, ranges, freezers, refrigerators, microwaves, dishwashers, four-piece kitchen suites, everything has Black November pricing. Financing always available. You can take it home today or you can let the pros deliver it to you. Prime Appliance is the only place to buy your appliances. Come in and let us prove it to you. It's the season for streaming and the perfect time to power up all your devices with extreme internet. Call today and save with prices as low as $19.99 a month for one year. Go dashing through your shows with amazing speeds from 60 meg up to 1 gig. Powerful in-home Wi-Fi and 99.99% network reliability. Enjoy the gift of high-speed entertainment for as low as $19.99 a month for one year. Dial 844-EXTREME2. Hurry. Offer ends December 21st. For coverage that matters most to you, tune to CBS3. You work hard for your money and deserve to see it go the extra mile. Join us Wednesday mornings and hear from local experts on tips to better manage your finances in Eye on Money on Live Local CBS3. Brought to you by MPPL Financial. Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS3. Customers at a Dairy Queen in Minnesota filled their karma buckets as well as their bellies over the weekend. There was a spontaneous chain of drive through customers paying for the people behind them. It started with just one person, and get this, it grew to 900. Over the course of a few days, Good Samaritans spent about $10,000 on each other paying it forward. Uh, here's what the assistant manager had to say. It makes people feel good. I know our whole crew was just pumped about it, and let's let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Our fans, like I said, we had cars that came here just because they heard about it and they wanted to be part of it. The Pay It Forward chain lasted from Thursday until Saturday. My goodness. Still ahead in sports, UMD women's hockey may be done for 2020, but the team is not losing hope. Kelly tells us why coming up next. The Kelly Clarkson Show, right here. Weekdays at 3 on CBS3. Hi, I'm Dr. Nick Van Dielen, Chief Medical Officer at St. Luke's. While the holidays might feel a little different this year, they can be just as magical. Let's take this time to enjoy the small things that make this season so special and maybe even discover some new traditions. Thank you for everything you've done and continue to do to keep our community safe. From all of us at St. Luke's, have a safe, happy, and healthy holiday season. When facing a major health care decision, it's wise to seek a second opinion from a team of established experts. Financial decisions deserve the same level of care and expertise. At MPPL Financial, we develop your plan by assembling a personalized team that includes experts in multiple disciplines. So the result is a coordinated care plan that covers all areas of your financial life. Your outcome depends on the quality of care you receive. Call today to set up your free second opinion consultation or visit MPPLFinancial.com. 
Right now, millions of people and billions of devices are connected to the internet. Homes, businesses, hospitals, schools. The security and reliability of these connections are more important than ever. That's why at Mediacom, we've built a network to protect them. A network that sees threats, fixes problems before they occur, and keeps you going with 99.99% network reliability. Start your next project today with help from Menards. Update the floors in your home with Tarkat. Aquafloor Premier Laminate Flooring is water and slip resistant. It also features an attached pad for an easy installation. Only $239 per square foot. Stay organized with Closet Culture. These adaptable systems use steel, wire mesh, and wood to create a sturdy storage solution. Right now, only $469.99. Plus, a Menards gift card is always a great gift idea. Four seasons, greetings to you all from Menards. The holiday season is truly the most magical time of the year. It's the perfect time to appreciate Duluth's beautiful downtown waterfront district. Everything is a little different this year, but it has never been more important to support the local businesses you know and cherish. Enjoy the sights, safely browse local shops, and bring home tasty treats. This year, your gathering will be smaller and your visit shorter, but your loyalty and commitment make a big impact. The Greater Downtown Council invites you to celebrate the season. Hey, Bulldog fans, it only happens once a year. The annual holiday sale at UMD Stores. Save 25% on the entire stock of UMD wear and gifts for Bulldog fans of all ages, December 9th through the 15th. Gift cards are always the right size, and for a limited time, receive a holiday bonus card with each $50 UMD Stores gift card purchase. Visit us on the UMD campus, open weekdays and weekends, or shop online anytime at umdstores.com. Now, CBS 3 Sports with Kelly Hinson. After their weekend series versus Wisconsin was postponed, the UMD women's hockey team officially put a bow on their 2020 part of the schedule. The Bulldogs posted a 4-2 and two record that included sweeps over Minnesota State and St. Cloud State. As of now, the WCHA plans to release a second-half schedule in the coming days. Earlier today, head coach Moore Crow recapped her team's season so far and detailed what she has liked from her squad overall. I like that we learn in the early part of the season. Lessons that we learn now um, will help us down the line as we try to keep this season going as long as we can. In comparing to last season, I know every season's different, but some of those games that, that we should have won last year were closer or closer than they needed to be or they didn't result in Ws. And, and this year we've taken care of four of those so far. A big reason for the team's success also has been their ability to score goals. League leading 24 goals in six games for the Dogs. Captain Ashton Bell says she's not surprised by the team's high scoring so far. We talked a lot about this summer about like not being satisfied and if we get like one or two goals like wanting to get more. So definitely not surprised there like being more urgent on the ice and definitely in the preseason we in our like scrimmage and stuff there's a lot of girls scoring as well. Well, the lineup has been mixed around. A new goaltender has stepped in between the pipes, but the results have stayed the same. The Bulldog men's hockey team picked up their fourth win last night against Miami. Ryan Fanti started the first three games in net for UMD, but freshman Zach Stasko from Cohasset got his first opportunity last night, making 23 saves on 25 shots. The two goals he did give up were weird ones. It was a miscommunication playing the puck in the opening minutes of the game and an own goal deflection off of Wyatt Kaiser in front of the net. But at the end of the day, the Cohasset native and former Grand Rapids Thunderhawk got his first collegiate win. Uh, you know, I was very happy for Zach. I think it was a good opportunity to play him. Ryan had a good start with his first three games. We got three games and four nights coming up. And, you know, it's it's a very difficult thing early in the year for any goalie to, to run that table. And, and I'm not saying that one or the other isn't going to do that, but it was good to get uh, him in there and play well. I thought he was good. Uh, good when we needed him to be. Obviously, that's uh, tough as a freshman coming in, uh, but I thought he played well, did what he needed to do, and uh, just so big. He's, he stopped scoring in practice, so uh, I don't know what they'll keep doing with those guys, but we, we're ready with anybody. We trust everyone. 
And UMD takes on North Dakota tomorrow night. And prior to that, you're not going to want to miss Dog Dynasty Bubble Hockey. We're recapping all of the action so far from the first ever college hockey bubble. Hear from players, coaches, and staff on this unprecedented and unique start to the college hockey season. That is tomorrow before puck drop in Omaha at 7 p.m. on My9 Sports. You can also catch a replay right here on CBS3 Duluth on Sunday at noon. And as a reminder, almost all of UMD's games from the pod you can catch on My9 Sports. And then, following the bubble, they will return home to Amsoil Arena. The regular season is slated to begin following the pod in the team's respective home arenas on January 1st. Again, the full list of games being broadcast on My9, as well as the entire hockey schedule is subject to change. For a full list, you can head to cbs3duluth.com and click on the Sports tab. And it is official. There will be no more fans in the Packers games for this season. The Green Bay Packers are limiting attendance at Lambeau Field games to team employees and their families. The team says the decision is based on a continued high rate of coronavirus activity in Brown County and many areas of the state of Wisconsin. The team is also concerned rates may spike with the holiday season approaching. The Packers have two regular season home games left. The team says an approach to any potential home playoff games will be decided at a later date. And that is going to do it for sports tonight. We'll be right back after the break. Change the future of medicine from the convenience of home. Join the All of Us Research Program to help improve health research and speed up medical breakthroughs. Visit EssentiaHealth.org slash All of Us to learn more. Being overweight may lead to high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, a weakened immune system, and can make COVID-19 even more risky. At Healthy Systems USA, get your free weight loss consultation from the comfort of your own home. Call or go to HealthySystemsUSA.com. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Schwabel Gets and Sieben today. I was uh, working in the oil fields of North Dakota, and I got hit by a car. With the extent of Mike's injuries, there was a lot that we needed to provide for Mike. So knowing that as his wife, I didn't have to worry about the legal aspects of things, that Schwebel Gets and Sieben had that under control. It was just comforting knowing that I didn't have to deal with that. They will take all of the stress out of any situation that you have. Medicare isn't everyone's favorite thing to shop for, but with UCARE, it might be worth a browse because right now, UCARE is offering a $0 premium plan statewide. And unlike original Medicare, you also get prescription drugs, doctor visits, dental, peering, and glasses. Fire off any questions to a decomplicator today. Hey, it's what we're here for. UCARE, people powered health plans. Here at Angie's Closet, we are a consignment boutique that carries a variety of women's clothing and accessories in all shapes, sizes, and styles that are friendly on your wallet. Come let Angie and her team style you from head to toe in an outfit that is just your style. Shop Angie's Closet for the best in gift giving. For CC hats, mittens, gloves, or our full line of locally made candles, lotions, and soaps. And gift certificates are always a perfect fit. Shop in store or visit us online with curbside pickup or shipping available. Angie's Closet thanks you for shopping local. Don't let the pandemic limit your Christmas giving. Easy Own has many ways to get you the things you want with payments you can afford. This December, we've reduced our down payments by 50% so you can buy more with your Christmas budget. If you're expecting a tax return, Easy Own has no interest or low interest programs with rates for big savings when you pay your loan off early. We've placed a large order for PS5s and Xbox Xs. Many are already spoken for, so if you want to get the latest gaming system, stop into Easy Own today to reserve one. Being overweight may lead to high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, a weakened immune system, and can make COVID-19 even more risky. At Healthy Systems USA, get your free weight loss consultation from the comfort of your own home. Call or go to HealthySystemsUSA.com. Men's Wardrobe by Mainstream Fashions for Men. The annual gift giver sale is going on now through December 31st. Mainstream, downtown Duluth. A puppy's brush with death after being caught in an alligator's mouth has given him a new job other than being cute. Gunner is now a deputy dog with the Lee County, Florida Sheriff's Office. This video shows Richard Wilbanks wrestling with the alligator to free Gunner from its strong jaws back in October. Wilbanks had been on a walk with his wife and Gunner when the gator thought it was getting a little bit of a free lunch. The county sheriff says the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel deserves his new Gold Shield. He says Gunner's survival instincts make him a perfect candidate for his pets on patrol.
program. Dave, that's just incredible video. I, I don't know that I could walk up to an alligator and pry, pry a dog from his mouth. I'd like to think that I could, but <laughs> oof, it takes some courage. Yeah, it takes a deft touch, I'm sure, to yeah. do that without getting bit yourself. Yeah. All right, I don't think too many of us are going to get bit by snow tomorrow, but there is a 40% chance up near the Canadian border up to two inches could fall. Then the rest of us get the leftovers on Friday and Saturday, which means a 20% chance for flurries that may not add up to more than a dusting. And that's about it for snow chances for the rest of the week. It'll cool down by Sunday and start to clear up once again. All right, thanks, Dave. Thanks for joining us tonight, and we'll see you again tomorrow.